back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. We're dealing with some YouTube controversy drama right now, which there always seems to be some sort of that on the internet. This one I am actually very passionate about because it kind of intersects with politics and the socio, you know, cultural, political landscape, but also a YouTuber that I really like and respect. It's going to be an interesting one. Before we get into it, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock upload. So, Mr. Beast, who is is the number one YouTuber on the platform. And that is not just because I like him or he's cool. He literally has more subscribers than any other creator on the entirety of YouTube. It used to be PewDiePie, but Mr. Beast recently, I don't know how recently, but he surpassed him. He has 131 million subscribers and he does a ton of prank videos, challenges. That's kind of how he blew up. But a lot of his videos now involve philanthropy, which is something that is really important to him. And he recently released a video where he facilitated and paid for 1,000 blind people to undergo treatment to restore their sight, while simultaneously educating his audience and the public about this surgery as an option, what goes into it, how much it is, etc. It blew up. It has almost 80 million views in less than five days. Let's just watch some of it so you guys get a taste. Most of us see the world like this. But here's the thing, 200 million people see the world like this. Half of all the blindness in the world is people who need a 10 minute surgery. Crazy. Yeah. Oh my God. I'll see okay. everybody. If you're wondering how the surgery allows people to see again, it's because the lens in their eye got so cloudy that they can't see through it. So the surgeon uses a tiny vacuum to suck up the clouded lens. Whoa, it's sucking. And replace it with an artificial one. The surgery is that simple. You pay for my surgery? Yes. <laughs> Seriously? You know what? Here's $10,000. Make your day even better. <laughs> He's literally so humble about it too. Fix more people's eyesight. She's squeezing hard. Oh man, no cloudiness, no blurriness. Oh, it's perfect. Now, what's it like? I can see everything. Okay, so you guys get the gist. He goes through, you kind of get a sense of the different patients. It goes on for eight minutes. It's just a very, very wholesome video. And he's paying for all of these people while simultaneously, like I said, educating the public on the fact that this is a surgery. I had no idea that this was even an option. I know LASIK exists. My brother has gotten LASIK. I actually think that I'm going to have to get LASIK at some point because you guys know I don't wear my glasses and things are blurry for me, but I am nowhere near being like legally blind. I had no idea that this was a treatment that people could undergo. Literally no idea. So <laughs> this video did teach me something. I enjoyed watching it. You guys should go see the whole thing. It obviously is a very, very kind thing for Mr. Beast to do. Like that is putting it mildly. He spent thousands and thousands of dollars putting this together for 1000 patients. And he is using his money and his ridiculously huge influence to make a difference in real people's lives. Based. Now, there are a lot of bitter people in the world who apparently hate that, who think that he is like the worst person on the planet, who find issue with the fact that he is using his money that he has earned to help people. I don't know how they've been able to rationalize that, but let's watch a little compilation to see what they're saying. Get ready for Hassan Piker. Flashback. I'm not crazy, right? Like she looks too much like Ben Shapiro. End of flashback. You watch this video, you go, oh, how, how cute and how nice. I watch the video and I'm filled with rage. That, What's like, wrong with you? That we <laughs> shut off access to a 10 minute procedure because we paywalled it and decided that like some people just simply can't get it. It is so insanely frustrating That's that it true. like it, it's up to like one YouTube guy. We're seeing people's healthcare be used as like clout harvest, as like virtue signaling, as content. So then are people not allowed to be charitable because it's all clout? If anybody with influence, if they do anything good for anybody else, it's all for external gain. You people are so pessimistic and sad. When I say that they find reasons to be angry and turn themselves into victims and create problems that do not exist, this is it in action. If Hassan Piker did something like this, even though I disagree with basically everything he says, I would still think that that is a wonderful thing to do because he is using his money to make a difference in people's lives. He is engaging financially in something that he cares about. That is a good thing regardless of whether you agree with somebody or not. You agree with their principles. They are still doing something kind for other people. So many of these people are so angry about everything and they are so locked in this bubble of rage about the world around them they cannot even step outside of themselves and realize that this is a good human doing something good for other humans which is objectively good it is absurd he's making up 55 million views or some shit in two days yeah i mean he already made the money back and full and more like like this is this is the formula for this guy are you just upset 
that you don't make as much money as he does? Are you upset at capitalism that that's how it works? <gasps> oh my God, capitalism in action. Somebody using their money for good. I know that that's so hard for you to understand. And you see people do this type of content where they essentially exploit uh, po impoverished people for content, it, harvesting their fucking tears and their struggle. How is it exploiting people if he is fixing their blindness? It's not like he went into some impoverished city and did a photo shoot and was like, oh, I'm so grunge and sad. That would be exploiting something. He's literally helping them. You're reaching. Who is this person? I've never heard of you before. This video could be used as like explicit political action and he could still do this and it would start to be better. I can hear like the liberal being like, that's not what it's about. It's like, it's like wholesome content and stuff. It and is. I'm like, I know. And there's a fundamental problem with us viewing this interaction as a wholesome one. This is disgusting. Okay, so everything has to be politicized. You just said the quiet part out loud. It's not good enough unless it is explicitly propaganda. Basically everything in the world is propaganda because everybody has their own bias that they approach content, entertainment, media, whatever with. So it's all propaganda. But if it is not explicitly politically driven, then it's not okay for you. Mr. Beast is never objectively upfront political. He does good things. You're so angry about that because this man is happy and he's making other people happy. Oh my God. This is a rich person getting rich off of the struggles of poor people. And while yes, he is helping them, he is at the end of the day, not solving the poor people problem. So the concept of, of poor people existing will always remain. What the f*** are you saying? What is this? When I say that the mental gymnastics is always astonishing, this is what I mean. These people might outlive all of us because they're basically playing brain strengthening games every day with how they create their arguments. You cannot do something good for other people unless you are addressing the root problem. You can't help impoverished people. You have to abolish poverty. That's not reasonable. Nothing would change. We probably don't want it to change because you want to still be able to sit around and gripe and bitch about things. That's the point. He is still monetizing poor people and he needs there to be poor people. And thus, as he has in the past, he will continue to defend capitalism because there needs to be capitalism. At, well, there doesn't need to be capitalism for there to be poor people. <laughs> yeah, truth. <laughs> because have you seen people under socialism? That's when they're really poor. Glad you have enough self-awareness there. But wait! Here's an example of a really big difference, okay? Why are all of these men the same? The ways in which people who have wealth socially legitimize that wealth. Okay, you literally talk about ethical billionaires and millionaires all the time. You want them to be ethical. You want them to redistribute their wealth. You want them to help other people. That is what you call being an ethical billionaire is literally giving away your money. That is what he is doing. So now you're calling somebody who is being an ethical billionaire millionaire, socially legitimizing their wealth. No consistency. If you were like a king or a queen or a emperor, uh, or even just a very, very wealthy merchant. There was usually a kind of uh, imagined, often divine self-justification to power that people held. Uh, the idea that kings and queens were divinely chosen was kind of broadly Mr. Beast is not you know, divinely accepted. chosen. And the idea of extreme amounts of wealth being concentrated in the hands of some people while other people starve has been seen as more and more of like um, something that has to be like addressed from an optics perspective. The problem that a lot of lefties have with philanthropy, as a rule, even if the outcome of that philanthropy uh, is, is good, is that it is often considered to be a kind of um, last defense mechanism for the inequities of capitalism. Charity can't really like maintain that level of care over people. The state can. The state is capable of Oh my of God. This. You are so cocked for the government. This is like chronically online behavior. Do they ever leave their bedrooms? Go touch grass. All of you. Shelly, what do you think? So that guy's name is Vosh. He is a very, very popular left-wing YouTuber. He looks really familiar. He's like seen in the left-wing sphere as a thought leader. Oh my God. You literally like hate charity and philanthropy. You would rather people starve and be angry at the government constantly than celebrate somebody doing good things with their money. 
I mean, I guess that's commitment to principles in some way, but it just makes you look like <laughs> a crappy human being, in my opinion. I am just stunned. These people need to go get a grip. I don't even care about your political views at this point. The fact that we can't even celebrate somebody doing something kind for other people is astonishing. And that's really, really sad that that has become like a political thing and that it's divided. It's absurd. Anyway, okay, it's on Twitter. Somebody tweeted this and said, there is something so demonic about this and I can't even articulate what it is. And then somebody retweeted and said, it's the idea that somebody with a disability needs to be cured. Oh my God, so you want them to just be disabled for the rest of their life? This person is so chronically online that they think easing somebody's ailments, easing their life is inherently bad. You want them to stay disabled if there is some way that we could help them in order to have some kind of socio-political brownie point like yay keep them oppressed i don't understand because it's advantageous for you in some way because you're too scared of offending them again the brain games i don't get it somebody else said mr beast is a prime example of how philanthropy is a concept that exists purely to provide legitimacy to millionaires why is it okay for a random individual to control such vast assets nobody elected mr beast his money should belong to the people so they can do whatever they want with it no you immoral <laughs> thief i shouldn't say you have no rights to anybody else's property. If you want to redistribute your money, go ahead and do it. Go make millions, and then you can do whatever you think is ethical with it. You have no right to have any opinion over what he does with the money that he makes. I think it's better that he wasn't elected. I don't like politicians. I don't want them involved. I would much prefer Mr. Beast do these kinds of things. My idea of a perfect government is one guy who sits in a small room at a desk and the only thing he's allowed to decide is who to nuke. It's incredibly admirable. You're just bitter. Kick rocks. Somebody else said, I don't hate Mr. Beast. I don't particularly care about Mr. Beast. What I hate is a system where good deeds are only done if they are profitable, where people are only forced to rely on the unreliable benevolence of the rich because they have no other way to have their needs met. Yeah, maybe that is because the state is terrible and daddy government promises to bail you out but never does. Daddy government profits on keeping people in a cycle of poverty and oppression. Therefore, charity and philanthropy and capitalist endeavors are the things that lift people out of hardship, that lift people out of poverty. I'm sorry that your system doesn't work. I'm sorry that you are so angry about people doing good things. Oh my God. If he did good deeds every single day, did not make content out of it, did not keep running his business, shut down everything, and he spent all of his time and his leftover resources giving to charity and being philanthropic, like under the radar, he would run out of money very quickly. The progress would stop. What happens then? Are you happy then? In this system, he is providing money and services. He's turning around and then making more money He's profiting, and then he will do the same again. Like, this is far from the first time Mr. Beast has ever done something like this. Like, he is known to be incredibly philanthropic. He is on record, he even tweeted about it this week, saying that he wants to give away all of his money by the time he dies. And he's not going to stop making money right now and then just give it all away and then just sit and rot for the rest of his life. He's going to continue making money and giving it away. He put this out this week, and he said, Twitter, rich people should help others with their money. Me, okay, I'll use my money to help people, and I promise to give away all my money before I die. Every single penny. Twitter, Mr. Beast bad. It's absurd. Somebody else said what's annoying about this mr beast discourse is not the dude himself but the inherent issues with philanthropy philanthropy in the future will be used to show the paternalistic rich can handle social issues and that the government isn't needed yes that is exactly the point the government does nothing but harm people they lie to you about their social endeavors they lie to us about what they do with our tax dollars mr beast has his own 501c3 charity in philanthropy he has given over a million free meals to people in need he has planted 20 million trees between 2019 and 2022 he raised over a million dollars for St. Jude, and he is currently raising $30 million in order to remove 3 million pounds of trash from the ocean. These are all things that you people should like, that as a society, no matter your political affiliation or what you believe, that we should be excited about because he is helping people and he is doing good things. Has the government done any of that? No. They just continue to pollute the earth. They continue to keep people in poverty. They continue to heavily regulate and suppress the medical industrial complex so that people cannot get access to this kind of care. It's the government's fault, whether you like it or not. He is a living and breathing ethical millionaire billionaire. He is doing everything the government fails to do. Somebody posted this meme and said, I genuinely don't understand why people are going after Mr. Beast and says, spends 50 four trillion dollars of your money and has all the presidents it's totally fine cures a thousand blind people with his own money angry i know they're just looking for something to be pissed about it like you saw hassan was one of the first people who was angry about this he talked about it on his stream he finally offered some clarification he was tweeting about it and he said i have no issue with mr beast no matter how hard these neck bearded losers try to present it that way i have an issue with an immoral system that paywalls health care if you weren't too desperate to claw a crumb of relevancy with a disingenuous hit tweet you'd perhaps see that 
Hassan, if you hate the system so much, then shouldn't you be happy that somebody is finding a way around it and is helping these people, like bringing awareness to a problem? Or are you just looking for something to be angry about? That kind of seems like what you're doing. Thankfully though, there are still rationally minded people out there. These were some of the comments under that compilation I showed you. Somebody said, this Mr. Beast situation just exposed hatred of the rich, not love of the poor that these bread tubers have. Another person said, the wealthy bread tubers like Vosh and Hassan kind of have to criticize Mr. Beast. Otherwise, their followers might start asking them why they don't do something similar with their millions. It's a great point. It's a very valid point. Somebody else says, somebody does a good deed. They still find a way to get mad. They are fundamentally incapable of joy. Yes. When Mr. Beast makes millions, he spends it on others. Ingeniously, he figures out how to make more money from spending it so he can do it again. He is not taking advantage of these people. He is making a deal with them. When the bread tube makes money, they spend it on themselves. Then they complain that no one is helping the poor. Yes, because complaining about the system that is oppressing everybody else makes them money. They're not actually doing anything about it, which they could be. I'm giving none of this to charity. This was my favorite tweet of this entire debacle. This girl said, Mr. Beast does what the wealthy leftists would do if they were actually morally consistent. Like that's the tweet. And the fact that they are being faced with that probably makes them very uncomfortable because when push comes to shove, I don't think they actually care. They're just here for the political and social gain. Okay, that was fun, and those people are crazy. If you want to see more videos like that, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like that video, and if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram at I'm Brett Cooper.